So we definitely know the story, but do we understand why? Welcome to Unify TV, where truth has no fear. We all know the story of Genesis chapter 3, which is when the serpent tempted Eve and had her eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. But do we understand why Eve wasn't exactly the sole person to blame for the downfall of man? Adam was actually to blame for that. Why do I say that? Because Adam was the husband. Adam was the leader. Adam was the man. Now, you know, yeah, it's going to sound chauvinistic or whatever phrase you want to use, sexist, whatever, but it wasn't Eve's fault for the simple fact that when God created the animals in Genesis chapter two, when God created animals, he brought them to Adam and had Adam name the animals. Adam named the animals and God said, whatever he named the animals, that's what they're going to be called. So Adam had complete say so over the name of every animal that we see today. And man was given charge over the land and Adam was the only man on earth. So everything was running under Adam. Adam was the supreme leader of the land and over all the animals in the water and everything. And he was the only man on earth. The fact that God created Eve from one of, one of Adam's ribs again in chapter two of Genesis he made Adam fall into a deep sleep. He took one of Adam's ribs out of his body, sold his body back up, and Eve was made. And Adam called her woman because she came from a man. So not only did Adam name every animal that was alive at the time, and every animal we see today had charge over all the land, he named Eve woman. So as the supreme leader, under the power of what God gave him as a man, why didn't he ask more questions when Eve brought him this fruit? He never asked her where she, where she got it from. He just followed his wife's leadership and ate of the fruit. And it turned out to be the wrong move. And just like that, they knew they were naked. So if Adam had been the proper leader, done what he was supposed to do and ask questions as opposed to following his wife's leadership, then this wouldn't have happened. Now, yeah, we all have decisions to make. You know, God doesn't make us do anything. We're not robots. You have the gift of free will. But that was still the wrong move for Adam to listen to his wife. Am I saying women can't lead? Am I saying women can't be the heads of the household? You can, but look, biblically, you're not supposed to be. Women are not supposed to be the heads of the household. Unfortunately, it happens a lot because men are absent. Men are in jail. Men are leaving, walking away from their responsibilities, and some women push the men out the door. There are a lot of reasons why men aren't the heads of the household, but we are supposed to be. That, that's never going to change. So what exactly did the serpent do? The serpent went after a woman's nature. So what does that mean? Women's nature is more driven towards emotions. Men's nature is driven towards sight. Men typically follow what they see. That's why men get in a lot of trouble with other women because they're too busy looking at her body. And next thing you know, you're acting on your thoughts. So men are driven by sight. Most of the time, women are driven by, by emotions. Most of the time, the serpent, Satan played, played on Eve's nature as a woman to think, to overthink and to be driven by her emotions. He tells her, Hey, you're not going to die if you eat off that tree. What's actually going to happen is you're going to be like a God because you're going to know what's good and what's evil. So you're going to be God. Like you're not going to die. He doesn't want you to be as powerful as him. So what does she start doing? She starts thinking. And next thing you know, that tree that was forbidden became appetizing. So running off of her emotions, now what she could be missing, she misleads her husband and he allows her to. So yeah, Eve was driven by her emotions, but as a man, you're supposed to balance her out. You're supposed to ask questions. You're supposed to make sure that the decision that she wants to make is the best decision for the family. And as a spiritual leader of your household, you are supposed to be the final decision maker as a man. A lot of people ain't going to like this, but this is just what it is. This is the way it was created from the beginning. And that's why same-sex relationships will never work. Two men driven by what they see, you have to have some emotion involved in that. You can't just be a robot and go off what you see. Women, two women driven by complete emotions, 
It's never going to work because if you're emotionally driven, you're sensitive, you're, you're liable to do things you shouldn't because sometimes you have to pay attention to what's in front of you rather than going by what you feel. Same thing for men. You got to go by what you feel rather than what's in front of you. That's why men and women are built to balance each other out. So God made it this way for a reason. We need to stop with the same sex stuff. We need to stop putting it in kids books. We need to stop putting it in children's media. We need to stop uh, promoting it overall. It's not okay. I don't care what you say. Homosexuality is not okay. Am I judging anyone who is homosexual? No, I am not. I'm not. What I want the homosexual extremists to do, the, the LGBTQ extremists to do, is stop pushing it on our youth. That's the only thing I ask. So, men, take your throne and be the heads of your household. Otherwise, the downfall of your household is going to be all your fault. Uh -huh.